Hey everyone, it's me again. If you're new to the channel, my name is Corey. My wife's name is Raquel. We moved to the Philippines from Chicago. She was born and raised here. Uh, we did all the paperwork. She came to the US with me for a couple years. We had a long-term plan to move over to the Philippines. Uh, that being said, I looked personally for a wife overseas, obviously, because I have one. Uh, so I understand what it's like uh, and why you would do it. But it is definitely a, a hot topic right now. Oh, it's actually, hot. it's been a hot topic, not like hot sexy, but. <laughs> I thought you were <laughs> No, I'm not trying to be sexy. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's a okay. very popular topic right now and it's been on the rise for the last three, four, five years. In the last year or two, it's just statistics show that it's just going up, men looking abroad or overseas for a wife. Uh, and I get it because I have one. So again, you know, I understand it. I know my reasons and I see the reasons why everyone is doing it okay yes i'm trying to be happy and positive about this so i'm not I, i'm not per i don't want to offend anyone because uh, it's definitely a very yeah. sensitive and taboo kind of topic Especially in the states woman out there yes and i'm again i'm not trying to offend anyone but it is what it is so facts and statistics are they are what they are Okay, so that being said, uh, first thing on my list, the reason, number one, that I was looking overseas for a wife or a bride, finding someone with traditional values or old fashioned, whatever you want to call it, um, is very important to me. So my parents have been married for 45 years at this point. They've never been divorced. My mother raised me and then when I graduated school, then she started working part time, but my dad preferred to work 60 or 80 hours a week to take care of the family. So having those same values was important to me and I see that being a very popular reason for men looking abroad or overseas because it's definitely hard to find. It's actually even hard to discuss in the States. So number two, smaller feet and petite. We're gonna again try to say this very politely, but this is also another topic that's uh, easy to offend people, and that's not the goal. I eat healthy. I work out a lot. It's it's important to me to find someone that um, looks athletic and they they're healthier and they're smaller. So I'm trying to be polite. Shorter. Um, shorter too. Yes. But either way, it's getting harder and harder to find that in the U.S. In Western cultures, it is. Unfortunately, being larger just seems to be on the rise. I'm trying to be very polite about that. Another reason why men are looking overseas, definitely a reason why I looked. Because over here, 5% of the population is actually bigger. The majority, almost everyone is slender and more petite or fit or, or skinny. I don't want to use that word. But again, that's, that's most of the population in Southeast Asia. So when you're looking for a bride or a wife, it's, that's almost everyone compared to, no, I'm not going to say the opposite in Western culture, but it's a you know half and half kind of situation. Okay, number three. Oh, for me, because your um, foreigners are taller and or exotic. For yeah, me. yeah. Um, oh, I thought we were talking. Okay, for a minute. Well, no, it says her, so it's probably you. <laughs> probably, I'm just, I don't know. I don't, maybe I'm reading into it, but it does say her. <laughs> But uh, yes, to finish what she was saying, in the US, I'm 5'10", which means what? It means I'm average, right? Let's just be honest here. 5'10", 5'9", whatever it is, that's just average in the States. Well, the average male in the Philippines is 5'2". So instantly, when I come over here, I'm taller. I have a different skin tone. I have an accent. So instantly, I'm tall, handsome, and exotic. I'm laughing saying that because in the States, I'm I'm average at best. But over here, yeah. she looks amazing. Me and thinks I'm I'm tall and handsome and that's great. I love that. <laughs> it's nice everyone look at you tall. Oh, it's nice. I help husband like this. <laughs> so yeah, it's just the fact that my most oh, most Filipino will look at you and there's oh it's a foreigner. So it's nice that for me as a as a wife too. Yeah, it's just um, the opposite. You leave your country, you go somewhere else where you're instantly taller and you you have an accent um, and even a different skin tone because you know I'm more pale to her but to me her tan is sexy to me so yeah, for both of us it's better I like her accent she likes mine I like her height she likes mine um, and I like yours yeah and yeah, you laugh at it which isn't fair by the way at all but um, no I don't think that's fair well, I don't think that's fair actually because in the US she'll say something and her her accent is exotic and sexy 
but when I say my own kapoon, she laughs because of my accent. But oh, it's cute. It's like very fancy to hear it. Like everything it's you fancy? pronounce is very fancy. Oh, see, yeah. I'm fancy over here. That's that's another plus I didn't know about. Oh. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, when you start looking for a bride or a wife overseas, which a lot of people are doing. I did it. You're taller and handsome, and you have an accent. It it works well for you. Where in the states I would be a four or five. Let's just be honest. Over here, girls look at me and think I'm a nine or a ten, which is crazy to me, but I uh, I enjoy it. Oh yeah, many like try to flirt with him. Or remember the the girl in that story always asked like, "Are you married? Are you happy?" Oh yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not, you know, back in the States, I walk through the mall and our girls aren't like looking, smiling and waving, but here they're always smiling and waving, which is funny. I mean, girls, you know, where I'll go shopping will know I'm married and they'll, I'll go back and then they're like, are you still married? <laughs> it's just kind of funny. <laughs> but over here, yeah, it's uh, it's in our best interest to look overseas because we're taller and yeah, more handsome and rare, more exotic. Very rare to see it's not common, so it's like, look like a celebrity in sun. Yeah, very interesting, but it is true. Okay, so another really important reason to me is in this culture, they're not materialistic, and that was really important to me. Because unfortunately in the US, you start dating a pretty girl, and she's going to list off like 20 different designer brand names that she cares about that are quote unquote important to her, and they're not important. So I, I feel like a lot of pretty girls have their priorities wrong, where over here, I talk to her and you know, I kind of laughed the first time I asked her her favorite brand name. She said, Nike, I don't know, Adidas, Nike. And Levi's because Levi's. they were reliable and they lasted a long time. That's all I know. Yeah, it wasn't even because she had ever had a pair of Levi's. It was, it was because she heard that they last a long time. She didn't give me this laundry list of expensive things. It was oh, yeah. simple. I don't really, I'm not comfortable asking. I, I don't grow up like that. So I just wait when it feels good give me something then I will appreciate it but I'm not doing like I want this I want this it's was I am trusting to that you know that in US mm -hmm. it's, you know I how I work and we just don't really grow up like that to us but I grew up to give so yeah that's it. so again being materialistic is a is a really big plus and that's harder and harder to find in the Western culture. I hate to say it, it's sad because we shouldn't be materialistic at all. It doesn't make you a better person to be wearing expensive things or own expensive things. It, it doesn't. It doesn't make you happier either. Yes, generosity <laughs> and giving. So I'm not going to say people in the U.S. or Western cultures are not generous or don't give. A lot of people do. So I don't want to come off like I'm sounding negative. I mean, a lot of people give to charity, a lot of people help, things like that. Over here, I find it so much more prevalent and it's it's a lot more powerful. And when I say that, her birthday just came up recently. She looked at me and smiled and said, honey, however much you'd be willing to spend on my birthday. And she's not materialistic. So when she said that, I was very confused. And she said, whatever you'd be willing to spend, just buy food with it. And I didn't know where she was going with this. I was very confused because we have a fridge, freezer, and a chest freezer. <laughs> we have food for the next six months. So I'm looking at her, wondering what she means. And she explains that for her birthday, she just wanted me to buy as much food Food is you know I'd be willing to buy so she could give it away to people that didn't have food and finding a beautiful girl in the US with those kind of priorities is more than rare I've never heard of it I've never seen it she's petite she's pretty she has her priorities right I just don't see these things adding up into one person and then you travel abroad or overseas and it's it's common because they're very generous and giving because they've grown up with very little so when they have they want to help others yeah especially as a Christmas so give to the kids. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry, I, I didn't even think about that, go ahead. Yeah, the ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, then I give also to my parents' workers. You know that we're having games and yeah. game. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about Christmas, that's another example, but uh, I, I mentioned her birthday, but on Christmas, she just wanted to buy little kids' toys to give them oh, to yeah, the, and the, the kids and ice cream because they didn't have any. 
I mean, they didn't own any toys, so that's what she wanted for Christmas was little kid toys to give them away. It shows what kind of person she is and what kind of person it's easier to find abroad. I'm not saying you can't find it in the States, but it's just very rare. Over here, it's a lot more common and I love it. I'm saying humble, I'll keep this brief, but unfortunately in the US, I would ask a lot of girls to rate themselves on one to 10. And pretty much everyone would say they were in between a seven and a 10. Everyone thought they were just awesome and they were almost perfect looking <laughs> and i would usually think they're like a three to a six but i wouldn't say that to them and then i meet what i consider to be a, a beautiful woman and then she just thinks she's average okay well to me it's very rare but right that's what i mean she's just very humble she's not walking around with an attitude thinking oh i wear size zero pants i should be cocky at the gym that's just not that doesn't happen. In the gym, you can see the pretty girls, they always have an attitude because they know that they're smaller. Yeah, yeah they were very- It's very common here to being small, so. Right, that, that's, that's what I mean. So it's so common that it's not, um, it doesn't give them an attitude. They just, they're very humble. Mm, that's good, they only eat small. Yeah, you eat, you eat small, Rice. so you save me money. Sure, that's good. <laughs> yeah, Food is actually, cheap. I don't care if that's you... good because you eat small um, portion of meat and then big rice but I don't grow yeah <laughs> okay so it's good Except that I married someone small because it helps me with my food budget <laughs> which is like $80 a month so <laughs> anyways commitment well that's abbreviation but commitment over here is taken a lot more seriously oh and I just want to say again I'm not going to insinuate or say that everyone in Western culture or everyone in the US or Canada doesn't take commitment seriously or marriage seriously you have to understand over here divorce is illegal so when you look at the actual statistics for people that have gone and gotten an annulment it's less than four percent and the reason why is because their culture they're raised to know that divorce is illegal only marry the right person because you can only do it once and you can't divorce them so they're brought up that way and they cherish it and they know how serious it is where unfortunately in the US I mean the statistics are what 50% or maybe a little over at this point uh, but it's nice to look for a bride or wife in another country where they take it very seriously yeah they respect maybe son of respect that you're gathered in one blessing yeah, I mean, to your family, it's a marriage is a very religious thing, and our family is very religious, so they don't take marriage lightly. So I respect that. Yeah, they have always go to church, but us. But we should go to church more, actually. But <laughs> don't actually blame me. Someone likes to sleep in, so I wake and she's I like, "Yeah, we'll go to church," and I'm like, "Okay, well, we're ten minutes late, and you're still in bed, so." <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make it. But anyways, let that, that's, an, that's another topic for another day. Oh, that's my it, that, That's up to you. You don't have to. I can read nine. it. Nine. Oh, I have to say that. Grateful and appreciative. Appreciative. Because we take a lot of little things for granted. And then you go to a country where having water, having shelter, having food, having your family around you is the most valuable, important thing. And we forget that. So we're constantly complaining about things we shouldn't and they're very appreciative for the things that they have. So they're not complaining about the things that they don't have. So, I mean, I've done a video on how my wife changed me. I'm not gonna get into all that right now. You can watch it if you want, but it's, it's changed me and made me a better person marrying her. So it's definitely, it's a positive thing. It, knowing how appreciative she is and grateful she is, it's just amazing. Where in the US, I'm not gonna be negative, I'm trying not to, but you buy someone a nice gift um, and then it's not nice enough or they, they want more. And over here, if I bought her some eggs and a thing of rice or something, she would smile and be thankful for it because she knows that's important to have food. Um, they're not complaining about the little things. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. I tried not to make this video too dull and I was trying to make it positive but yet touch some tricky topics that people rather not talk about. And I know this from being in the US and dating someone overseas and being engaged and marrying someone. Uh, a lot of people are uncomfortable or have a hard time talking about it because a lot of the population just starts kind of attacking people. And when I say that, I, I would 
see people firsthand, but why aren't you just finding someone locally? And they would actually get upset. But the fact is when you go through these things, it's very hard to find. I mean, you take two or three or four of the things that were important to me, it's almost impossible to find them combined, let alone all the things. I mean, I could not find <laughs> a slender, attractive girl with an accent <laughs> that cared about traditional values and was giving and wasn't materialistic. I just hate to say it, but that was, that was harder than finding a unicorn. It just didn't exist. So I understand why a lot of men are just looking overseas and it's easy to find. Anyways, I hope we kept this video happy. <laughs> <laughs> we try, I can add like Adlib or something because it's more, it's my heart to shh. Yeah, we're trying to say a lot of these things politely without offending anyone because I'm not judging anyone yeah, I that don't doesn't fit one of these okay. categories. It's just when you're looking for what you want, you, you're you not judging everyone that doesn't fit that group, but you, you yeah. want what you want. That's what you're attracted to. Anyway. As long as we respect them, that's the most important. Everyone that's uh, left a comment, I really appreciate it. If you've hit the like button, I appreciate it. Or subscribe, that's great. Uh, thank you very much. So we appreciate watching and we will see you again soon. <laughs> or you'll see us again soon. That makes more sense. <laughs>